Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're back playing a video, or making a video, on Ark Survival, Survival Evolved, um, what, okay, <laughs> my dinos have gone crazy, but let's just fix my dinos, what, um, <laughs> so, um, the new Tectia update dropped about two days ago for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I'm on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, it came out like two days before. So, um, and I have this base which I left because I was going to try and restart, but I wanted to stay on the same map, so I just left the base. And if I wanted to do any tutorial videos, I can head over there. Um, some of this stuff is cheated in, so just don't hate, I've already told you that. Um, but we're just going to do this for a video purpose. And we're going to also, we're going to try and tame a Baskalosaurus today. And we're also going to, what's it called, what's it called, test out the tech tier armour. <clears throat> and we're going to test out the tech tier armour first, because... If we tried the check tier tech tech tier armor out first, um, the helmet gives you like infinite breathing underwater, so that's gonna be good for us. And this is gonna take a while to get over to my second base, so I'll be I'll be. Check out the tech replicator. Now this is like the first item you'll get, or like need um to create crap oh my gosh i can't speak today um to start crafting your tech tier stuff so the tech replicator is gonna cost you 75 element 5000 metal um 600 crystal 150 black pearls and 800 polymer Ouch. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I spawned this thing in for a video purpose. <laughs> oh my god. And um, this tech stuff, you get it, or element, um, as it should be called, well, as it is called, um, you kill it from, you get it from the bosses. Now, if you go to the bosses, um, the harder the boss, so now there's an easy, medium, and hard mode. And every time you get an easy boss, um, you'll get like a smaller amount of element and n like one ingram. But then, if you um, kill like two bosses, you'll get like two ingrams. So I believe I'll like bring up a picture of what you get if you kill the bosses, like how much element and all of that. The second thing that you're probably going to have to craft um, with tech tier um, is going to be the tech transmitter for 40 element, 2,500 um, metal, um, 250 crystal, 80 black pearls, 320 polymer. Now this is going to be one of the things that you'll probably want when you're going to switch over to a second server because you want to restart, but you want some of your dinos, it's pretty me pretty much. So, you know the, um, if we just hop out on my RG, um, oh my god, I can't get out. You know these obelisks and yeah, they're probably based up if you're on a PvP server, they're based up so pretty much no one can use them. Um, so basically, this is your own personal one, pretty much. You can't summon bosses from it though, but you can go transmit arc data and you can, I was testing out that. Um, you can upload creatures data so I can, um, upload, up, probably third thing you're going to craft is maybe the tech, tech rex saddle. I haven't got this, but, um yet um it's 350 polymer 1800 metal 2500 oh my gosh 
2500 crystal and 40 element and 100 black pearls. The black pearls are going to be crazy with this. Um, the tech rifle, second thing, I haven't got. 120 polymer, 450 metal ingots, um, 120 crystal, 20 element and 55 black pearls. And tech chest piece, uh, there you go, you can see that. See that for the tech leggings, tech helmet, tech that. Pause the video if you want to see any of these. I can't be bothered to read it out. And you can craft everyday items as well in the tech replicator. Pretty much everything. But it will craft them at double the speed of, like, if you're going to craft them in a normal thing. Um, it will craft them at double the speed. Um, so, yeah, pretty much. That's awesome. Uh, we're gonna go get the tech armor now. First. Here we go. Tech. This is all the tech gear. So we're just trying this on. Um, we're gonna just get some element. It will be in this one. Element. Let's get all. We have all element like armor. I'm just getting some trank arrows for later, they should be in here. Um, uh, sad enough. So if, sorry I'm just making some trank arrows. You can make flame arrows now, I, ne I, I never noticed that. But, that's okay. Uh, so, if we're trying the tech tier, let's just go um, orbit camera and see what I look like. So I look very techy see my feet there and then let's do like a nice panoramic jetpack at the back of that you know yep got the jetpack but the main feature about the gloves okay so we're gonna go up as it is on the screen there on the side of the screen where all your stats are you can see the um element usage um of them and you're gonna have to have element in your thing what happened there what happened um something happened um, you're gonna have to have element. Oh yeah, I ra ran into that and broke it. You, um, you're gonna have to have element to refresh it, and it sucks up element. So the special thing about the tech gloves is you can do like this super punch, which does loads of damage. If I go over to, we can hit him, can't we? Yeah. Unclaim. Then, boom, 49 damage, and it's hitting him twice, as it seems, um, not a lot of damage, but, another feature that I'm going to show you, with the, what's it called, um, leggings, leggings, that's it, oh, uh, boots first, before I show you that, um, boots, do something really important so if I take the boots off I get really high damage from falling off of here but it eliminates fall damage which is amazing if you're living in a, like a tall base or you know yeah and you're like flying around dinos and you get picked off a dino if you're in a raid situation on a server which I'm not on a server right now because single player just runs better so now we're gonna do the um leggings and you can super run and it will just kill stuff and so you, you see this stone house right here demolished like I've just like demolished this just run through it and it will destroy your own structures bear that in mind and it won't destroy metal I'm not 100% sure it shouldn't yeah this is basically what I did and it just pretty much destroyed my uh, thing. So now we're going to go to the chest piece, which is what I'm using right now. You can jetpack, and then if you double hit it, you do like a super boost up in the air. So let's go third person, super boost, and then you can just jetpack around, which is really awesome if, you know. And you can also super run, like super speed whilst flying and break through items. We have the helmet that we're going to come over to is 
infinite breathing underwater, which is something that, like, if you live underwater and you have, like, a, a base for land as well, you know, it's really useful. And you can also use the jetpack underwater, so I'm probably not going to take a Mosa with me, um, actually. Nah, I'm not going to take a Mosa with me. I'm just going to head over to where I normally live and find a Baskalosaurus so we can tame it. But, as you can see, let's just show you the um, stack, because I didn't. <laughs> um, so look, it's taking slowly element, but my O2's not going down. Look, it, it the O2 stat is there, but it's just not going down. Slowly taking element on the helmet, see 43%. 42% so that one takes it quite slowly but you know it's still taking element and elements expensive like you kill the bosses to get it and like the hard mode bosses get you only like 70 something element which is crazy um and guys I'll be RB when I find a Baskalosaurus hey guys so I'm back a little bit early before I found a Baskalosaurus but I'm just letting you know that um, one of the most spawn rates is next to Herbie Island, so I'm going to search around here because that's one of the most spawn rates. So guys, we are back and there is actually a Baskalosaurus right in front of me. Oh, I have my jetpack on, that's why. Um, and I believe they're a passive team. Yeah, they are. They're a passive team. Um, but I don't know what they take, uh, I think it's fish meat, so, it's good that I'm killing this shark right now. Oh, I've used my pipe. There we go. Um, Tall War Fish Meat. Is that it? I, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's actually fish meat. Um, I may have to go read up on this guy. Um, it should be fish meat. Uh, yeah, it's fish meat. So. Oh, this is gonna take so long to tame. Oh no. So guys, I guess oh, I'll be, I'll be, be right back. Um, BRB. Um, once we have this guy tamed up. And yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, we have him tamed up now. Um, we have a whale. Um, but as I was taming this guy up. He took quite a while to tame up. Uh, this other one came along. So, how much is I've given him what two meat? I think. Yeah. Wait until it's hungry again. I'll be back once we can tame this. I they, they were both level eighty, so I'll be back once we can tame this guy up. So guys, we have two Baskalosaurus now. Um, I just need to go get more stamina. Um, we have two, um, and they're both over 100 CP. Um, oh my gosh, I've been doing way too much Pokemon Go. And Gen 2 came out. Oh my god. CP, um, they're level, let's say. Now, um, I don't have the materials for a Baskalosaurus saddle. Actually, I think I do. Um, but not right with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to base, I'm going to make a Baskalosaurus saddle uh, for these guys and head back to Herbie Island, saddle these guys up and then yeah. So a BRB. There's a lot of BRBs this episode. Yeah. So guys, the Basilosaurus saddle can be crafted at the smithy, and it's 30 ingram points, and actually it's not um, that bad to create, actually. Um, if you go to the smithy, it costs um, 200 hide, 55 metal ingots, and 250 fiber and I'm just getting the metal ingots 
So guys, we're crafting up the Basilosaurus saddle. Uh, okay, it takes a little while to craft. Uh, it should craft up here. Basilosaurus saddle. Right, we're just gonna turn these off. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't show you that feature, did I? With the um thingy helmet, um, what's it called helmet? Tech helmet. You can if you double click triangle or why I think it would be on the Xbox and I think it Z on the computer don't judge me on that if I got that wrong but if you double click it it comes up so it will show green your dinos um, like dinos red if a dinos aggroed at you and like yellow if it's just neutral dino and then if you double click it again it goes night vision then if you double click it again it goes night vision with that dino seeing then you double click it again it just goes back to normal so that's what oh, i really like that feature it's a really good feature um i just i just i didn't realize or remember it was there so. right i just gotta head off and go to the basil so guys we're back with the basil saurus and this guy is amazing um he's a passive oil gatherer if you don't know what that means if you just have him sat around he'll produce oil now this is like a different type of oil it doesn't stack with normal oil but it is um like because if you kill a basil it will give you oil um, and this is meant to be it's like blubber and yeah pretty much it's meant to be it's blubber um, and it apparently works better than normal oil and or like a better version of gasoline you can make with it and they have this really cool feature where they can go like straight up so if we go all the way down oh and one thing to warn you about these guys don't go really deep with them so if i just go really deep with this guy now Really deep. So we're pretty deep. Uh, that says we're in the deep ocean. He takes damage and not too fast. He's like, see that he's taking damage. It's because apparently the like blubber can't um take strong about it. Oh, that's a cool feature. Um. A dino, this dino gives you protection from being cold and being too hot so pretty much yeah um, the thing is awesome so if we go like straight up he can pretty much go straight up like that which is a really cool feature and then he can like stick out like that he's really cool I love this guy and then he can bite like that just a casual normal bite how come I every time I record it's dark and then he does this and it makes a rainbow this is like the best dinosaur in the game and his damage isn't too bad everyone says he's so bad at damaging things but this one 150 level 150 so if you can find out what level 150 you know what's come to melee damage but it's it's 266 for the base never pumped anything so it's actually okay um so i'm just gonna get the second basil for me ho follow me home and i'm gonna take them to where i may keep my water dinos whilst i'm living in my new place because i actually may kill the second basil um just to give you an idea of what the oil's like my voice is really weird today sorry guys um <coughs> See look, he's gathered three oil. He is like a passive oil gatherer. Um yeah, don't take them deep. One tip. Um and they're an amazing dino. Obviously. An amazing dino. Um because every dino that um wildcard just come up with is awesome and amazing. <coughs> um anyway guys, 
this is going to be the end of the video for today and if you enjoyed this video smack that thumbs up and yeah if you want to see more videos like this leave a comment down below and if you want to see me do another review on a different dino or a set of armor or a cool item in the game let me know in the comment section down below and like if you want to um a review on the baryonyx i'll do a review on the baryonyx and yeah I but so guys i'll see you in the next video Goodbye.